Hey guys, the Ride Designs here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how you can change the color of an image uh, from, well, originally it was red, and then I turned it to blue without uh, affecting the door because we originally, if I turn the mask off, it affects the door and the mailbox, and we don't want that. So I'm going to be teaching how you can do that with a mask as well. So first off, I'm going to delete my layer, and I'm just going to hide it for later use. Um, so first off, just make sure your image is dragged in into Photoshop. If you drag it in, um, yeah, make sure your uh, layer is unlocked. If it is locked, there's like a lock here. You uh, double click it and it should unlock. And then the first thing uh, we do, make sure you have your adjustments somewhere so you can see them. If not, go to Window Adjustments and it should be there. And I'm using Photoshop CC 2014. So uh, I'm not sure if it's the same with older versions. So you click your hue and saturation and we have our, our hue and saturation adjustment layer here. And instead of just like playing around with the colors and changing them, as you can see here in the master, it's also changes the color, not only the background, but it's also affecting the wall and the window and the mailbox and even the pipe here. But we don't want that. So I'm gonna put this at zero. And I'm gonna uh, make sure I have it on red. And now I'm gonna make it blue, because that's what I had in the original image. And as you can see here, it made the background blue without affecting the pipe, but, or this, and but the door and the mailbox are affected, as well as this little bit up here. And we don't want that. So, um,. Make sure you select the mask and make sure you have the polygonal lasso selected with L. If, if you have the lasso selected, just click and hold and select the polygonal lasso. And what we're gonna do is use it to um, make a mask and shape around the door. So just um, make sure you're, you have shift selected. It makes a straight line instead of freehanding it. It's a lot better and more accurate. So we're just gonna shape around uh, the door and then we're gonna press B for the brush make sure you're painting in black here and then just paint like that and you should see here that it creates um, block or black block and that's the mask so you can see the door is not being affected by the adjustment layer anymore so we're gonna pretty much do the same thing with the mailbox as well so uh, I'm just gonna shape around the mailbox. It's a little different than door. Uh, let me create that again. So I'm doing this really fast, but obviously you, uh, when you are doing your design, uh, make sure you put a little more time into it. It's just a little quick tip I wanted to do. And once you have it selected, you just paint with the black brush, and there you go. You should have your selected, uh, your wall selected and changed from red to blue and this varies with every image though so you just got to play around a little bit and apply these techniques I'm teaching you and also since we have this um, green here if I turn this off it's kind of pinkish and instead of the red here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to magentas here and we're gonna move the slider until it matches the color of the background or the color that we want as you can see here it blends in all throughout and we did this without changing the color of the pipe and the door and the mailbox and that's it thank you all for watching like comment subscribe uh, feel free to comment if you have any problems I'll try my best to answer you and see ya